Welcome to a captivating journey into the life and exploits of one of history's most brilliant military minds, Hannibal Barca. In this in-depth biography, we will unravel the remarkable tale of a Carthaginian general who challenged the might of the Roman Republic. Join us as we explore the early life, military campaigns, and enduring legacy of the man behind one of the most audacious feats in ancient warfare. Our story begins in the 3rd century BC, in the ancient city of Carthage, located in present-day Tunisia. Hannibal Barca was born into a prominent Carthaginian family, the son of Hamilcar Barca, a renowned military leader. From a young age, Hannibal was exposed to the art of warfare and developed a deep sense of duty towards Carthage. It was during these formative years that Hannibal imbibed the principles of Carthaginian warfare, learning the importance of discipline, strategy, and a relentless pursuit of victory. These early influences would shape his future as a military genius. The stage is set for an epic clash between Carthage and Rome, the Second Punic War. Hannibal, driven by a deep desire to avenge Carthage's previous defeat, devises a daring plan to take the war to the heart of the Roman Republic. In 218 BC, Hannibal launches his audacious campaign by crossing the Alps with his army, including war elephants, catching the Romans off guard. This bold move demonstrates his strategic brilliance and sets the stage for a series of remarkable victories. Hannibal's tactics and military genius come to the forefront as he engages the Roman legions in a series of battles that leave the world in awe. The battles of Trebia and Cannae showcase his exceptional ability to outmaneuver and defeat larger Roman armies. At Cannae, in 216 BC, Hannibal executes a masterstroke by employing the double envelopment strategy, surrounding and decimating the Roman forces. It becomes one of the bloodiest battles in history, and Hannibal secures a resounding victory. Despite Hannibal's early successes, Rome proves to be a formidable adversary. The Roman Republic, renowned for its resilience and adaptability, regains its footing and launches counter-offensives against Hannibal's forces. As the war drags on, Hannibal faces logistical challenges and a lack of reinforcements from Carthage. Despite his tactical brilliance and audacious strategies, he is unable to secure a decisive victory that would bring Rome to its knees. Hannibal Barca's military prowess and audacity have left an indelible mark on history. Although ultimately defeated by Rome, his name became synonymous with military genius and strategic innovation. Hannibal's tactics, such as his use of flanking maneuvers and the double envelopment strategy, continue to be studied and admired by military leaders and scholars worldwide. His campaigns left an enduring impact on the art of war, influencing future commanders throughout history. Hannibal's legacy extends beyond his military achievements. He was also a skilled diplomat, reformer, and statesman who played a significant role in shaping Carthaginian politics and society. Even in defeat, Hannibal remained a respected figure among his enemies. After the war, he lived in various regions, including the Seleucid Empire and Bithynia, where he continued to serve as a military advisor. In his final years, Hannibal faced the constant threat of Roman retribution. Fearing capture, he chose exile and ultimately took his own life in 183 BC, rather than fall into the hands of his enemies. Today, the legacy of Hannibal Barca continues to captivate and inspire. His audacious campaigns, military genius, and unwavering determination have secured his place among history's most celebrated figures. Join us next time as we explore more fascinating stories from the annals of history. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more captivating episodes.